Okay, happy to see you here on my channel. Hi, mathematics. Really interesting and great relaxing challenge. We need to simplify this expression. 4 to the power 52 times 25 to the power 49. So what is the answer? And of course, I don't want you to use your calculator right here. Let's reuse our super brain and let's try to solve it without a calculator and with our algebra skill. And I hope you will enjoy this solution. So before solving this, I want to say thank you for your support and please leave a like, write any comment. Uh, what do you think about it? And thank you for your support. It, it helps me a lot it keeps my channel alive when you leave a like and write any comment it really helps me so thank you and let's try to let's try to solve it first of all we have like uh, all different numbers 4 25 52 49 so what how can we start with what we need to do in the beginning first of all we have like uh, 52 and 49 it looks like a close powers it looks like it looks like a close numbers because if we write this as 4 cube so let's write this 4 to the power 52 as 4 cube times 4 to the power 49. Okay, this is our first step. Why I write this? Because this is a, a great property when you have a product, when you have the same base and different powers, if you have a product, yeah, you add it. So if we have 4 to the power 3 plus 49. Okay, so this is our property, this is our answer. So 4 to the power 3 times 49, uh, multiplying by 25 to the power 49 and this is our first step so we hope you understand this first step which is really important step because right here we can easily do one really important trick I'm going to show you this trick here, but before before show this trick, I want you to understand this step. So 4 to the power 3, 4 to the power 49, equal to 4 to the power 3 plus 49, which is absolutely the same. It looks like a to the power x, a to the power y, equal to a to the power x plus y. Okay, so uh, I hope you learned this, this rule. What are we going to do next? We need to group. Take a look closely. We have the same base right here, but we don't need these two, uh, two numbers. We need, a group. we need to group these 4 to the 49 and 25 to the power 49 because we have all the time product, so nothing changed for us, so we can easily group it. So right here we group these two elements. And right now, really important, maybe the key moment right here, because we have the same powers but different bases. So how can we work with this? How can we, what rule we need to use? Uh, take a look closely at this one, this rule. So we have four cube times, right here, if we have the same powers, you don't need to add it. You just need to multiply these bases and raise to the power 49, which is really important. So we have four times 25 to the power 49. Okay, okay. So let's write it right here. So we hope you understand this step, four cube times 4 to the power uh, 4 times 25 in parentheses to the power 49 this is our like this is our first step right here so first step this is our second step so you hope you understand this step what are we going to do next 4 to 4 times 25 equal to 100 which is absolutely brilliant so we have 4 cube times we have like 100 to the power 49 okay brilliant right here 100 this is a really great base because we can easily write our final answer without any calculation yeah so take a look closely 4 to 4 cube equal to 64 yeah we can easily write it and times we have 100 we can write it as uh, 10 square i guess yeah we have 10 square and raised to the power 49 which is equal to 64 times 10 to the power square to the power 49 which is equal to 10 to the power 2 times 49 this is like another another property this is the third step right here so 2 times 49 equal to 90 uh, 98 yeah we have 10 to the power 98 and this is our answer we have we have 6 uh, 64 or write it in another way let's move this dot right here on the left hand side so we have 6.4 times 10 to the power 99 so as you can see without any calculation without our telephone we find this answer and it's really great and i want to say thank you for those who don't use calculator for this question which is really great because as you can see three really important steps and we find our answer without any telephone which is which is really great so we hope you understand my explanation i wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure also thank you for your support for your like for your comment uh, positive negative comment i really appreciate it and thank you for your time have a great day i wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures